The Grobert G150, let's find out what it's all about and let's see it in action. So we've got the Grobert G150, but you've got automation attached to it, haven't you, Paul? Yeah, this machine, the G150 here, comes with the, uh, the new Grob GRC R12 robot cell. Obviously, this setup now, it's a fully lights out cell. Um, it's been really making waves in the, uh, particularly in the medical industry, um, but it's applicable to kind of any small billet part that anybody would desire to make. Tell me about the process, what's happening? So at the moment, the robot is going to unload a finished part and put it back into the, uh, into the tray. Um, it's got the, the raw billet waiting to be loaded in, so it'll take the part out, um, blow out the vise, and then load the raw billet in ready for OP10. Okay, and the technology in your G150, for anyone that doesn't know, tell me about the machine. So this machine here, um, it's our standard G150. Uh, it comes with 117 tools as standard. Um, it's got a 16,000 oil air spindle. Um, and obviously it's a full simultaneous five axis machine. And for people who don't understand the Grob tunnel technology and this concept which you're shouting out about, what is it and, and, and what are the pain points that people have experienced for you to go, you need a Grob? Well, this machine offers a, a hell of a lot of rigidity. It's a very stable machine. It's, it's probably one of the most dynamic machines in our range. And obviously the tunnel concept, as you mentioned, is, is a, an absolute winner for Grob because um, the rail is supported or the spindle is supported on three shoes on the rail. So it's always in constant contact. And the tunnel technology, what advantages has it got? Can you put longer tools in? Yeah, it allows you to have the, uh, the longest tool with the largest component. So, right. yeah, and also with a small tool, you can get right into the part. So it, it kind of uh, reduces the need for extended tools. And obviously, a lot of the time, people talk about a horizontal and with the small fall away. But what are the benefits have you got? Well, as you know, we grub off as the overhead machining. So um, you can, that allows you to get a, a much cleaner part off the machine. It also increases tool life because you're not cutting swarf or material that you may have already machined in a pocket. So you mentioned the medical sector. Yeah. Why is this growing? And tell me about the sectors who are going, I need this. Well, medical is really the number one for this machine. It was a machine that this market was, it was aimed at this market. Um, it's the dynamics and the stability of the machine. We're already being able to improve cycle times on, for example, like a femoral knee part, where we've really, really reduced the cycle time drastically over grinding processes. And what's that sector demanding for your components? Accuracy, obviously, you know, we all hear about accuracy, reliability, but give me some of the examples. Well, the main wins for the medical sector is, A, they're getting a part off quicker than anybody else can do it. And also when that part does come off, due to the dynamics and the finish of the machine, um, it requires a lot less polishing and finishing afterwards. Okay, so all in all, you know, you've had your open house. What are people saying about this machine and why are they going for it? I think it's really opened a lot of people's eyes as to what automation we can offer and the solutions that we can provide. Um, people have been very impressed with the machine and the parts that have been coming off. So yeah, really, you know, this sells a real winner for us.